What's up, my name is Alex, DJ Couch King, and in this video series, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know to get started making music in Ableton Live. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the three different versions of Ableton Live and help you decide which one is right for you. This video is the first episode in a series that will be a completely free course on how to make music in Ableton Live 10. I'm not selling anything, no courses or anything like that, but if you'd like to support the channel, I'll let you know at the end of the video how you can do that. So let's jump right into it and talk about the three versions of Ableton Live, intro, standard, and suite. Each version of Ableton Live 10 has different features, different limitations, and comes at a different price. At the time of recording this, the pricing is $99 for Ableton Live Intro, $499 for Ableton Live Standard, and $799 for Ableton Live Suite. If you're a student, they are offering a 40% discount, and if you buy digital download versions of Standard or Suite, you can save $50 over a boxed copy. I'm going to break down the differences of each one of these throughout this video. So first, let's talk about Ableton Live 10 Intro. This is the most limited, but it's also the most affordable. For most people, Ableton Live Intro is going to be a really good place to start. It's going to be affordable so you can actually get your hands on it, and it's also going to give you just enough to kind of decide whether or not it's worth spending the extra money to upgrade to standard or suite. Ableton Live Intro limits you to 16 audio and MIDI tracks, and that's any combination, meaning that you can only have 16 tracks total. It also limits you to four mono inputs and four mono outputs. So if you're thinking of tracking a whole band with Ableton Live Intro, it's not gonna happen. You just won't have enough inputs and outputs. It comes with four software instruments, 21 audio effects, and eight MIDI effects. You get two send and return tracks and limited audio warping functionality. You also cannot slice audio or change audio into MIDI. Let's move on to Ableton Live 10 Standard. Ableton Live 10 Standard gives you unlimited audio and MIDI tracks. It also gives you 256 mono inputs and 256 mono outputs. So again, if you're looking to record your band and you guys have a full drum kit and vocals and guitars and keyboards and so on and so forth, you're gonna need to get at least standard. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work for you. Ableton Live 10 Standard allows you to do audio slicing, turn audio into MIDI. It also gives you complex warping algorithms. It includes five instruments, 34 of Ableton's audio effects, and the same eight MIDI effects that you get with Ableton Live 9 Intro. You also get 10 gigabytes of sounds and samples to start working with and putting into your productions, which is a lot of sounds. And those include packs, so some of those are instruments, some of those are loops, and so on and so forth. So Live 10 Suite is the most expensive, but it is also the most feature packed. You get the same 256 mono audio inputs and outputs that you would get with Ableton Live 10 Standard and unlimited audio and MIDI tracks. It also adds 60 gigabytes more of samples. 60 gigabytes, that's a lot. It's, I mean, just make sure you have space on your hard drive for that. It also adds 12 more audio effects, giving you a total of 46 audio effects. And it adds eight more MIDI effects, giving you a total of 16. So which one should you buy? Well, that really depends on your purpose and your budget. If you're a beginner or you're a college student or a high school student who can't afford standard or suite, even with a 40% discount, it's probably worth it just to start with Ableton Live 10 intro. It'll give you a good feel for the software and kind of let you start getting your bearings and, and start learning your way around the software before you can step up to the full version. It's also good for people that are just unsure that Ableton Live is the right digital audio workstation for them. Kind of gives you a chance to really dig into it and give it a chance before you spend the extra money. If you're somebody who needs a simple playback system just to play back backing tracks or to trigger sound effects or something like this, this is probably a good option for you because you most likely don't need all the extra bells and whistles. On the other hand, if you are a recording engineer, if you are a band that needs to be able to track several instruments, or you're a DJ that wants to be able to create mixes or perform live with this, 
or even a producer that's going to be using a lot of third-party plugins and is not necessarily too worried about the built-in plugins that come with Ableton Live, then standard will probably be good enough for you. It gives you plenty of inputs and outputs, gives you plenty of basic effects that if you're going to third-party plugins, you'll be just fine. And if you're not sure what a lot of this stuff means, hang in there, we'll cover all of this in the upcoming videos. And finally, if you're a producer that's looking for a complete system, or if you're a recording studio or an education facility that wants to be able to have access to all of these things for your clients or your students, then it's definitely worth the extra money for Suite. You get a ton of sounds, a ton of effects, and right out of the box, you can start making, recording, or teaching awesome music. Thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully I was able to help you make a decision about which version of Ableton Live is going to be right for you. Make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for all the videos that'll be coming out in this series. I'll be going everything over how to record, how to do MIDI sequencing and mixing and creating DJ mixes and edits and so on and so forth. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to get all the videos I'm going to be putting out about Ableton Live 10. If you want to support the channel, I'll be putting a bunch of links to the studio equipment that I have and so and the video equipment that I use to make these videos in the description below those are Amazon affiliate links which we will make a small commission on if you decide to buy some of the gear also I'll be putting up a merch store where you can get your very own DJ Couch King t-shirts very soon so stay tuned for that thanks again for watching peace